Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 57. That is, what is top-down integration testing approach? Let me answer. There are different integration testing approaches and top-down integration testing approach is one of them. As you can see here, these are the different integration testing approaches that can be followed while performing the integration testing, okay? They are like top-down integration testing approach is one of the approach. We also have the bottom-up integration testing approach and other integration testing approaches are sandwich integration testing approach and big bang integration testing approach. Any of these approaches can be used while performing the integration testing. Hence, top-down integration testing approach is one of the different integration testing approaches available. Okay, so how the integration will be performed Okay, how the integration testing will be performed as part of the top-down integration testing approach. In case of the top-down integration testing approach, higher level, okay, higher level units will get integrated to their lower level units. Okay, let me show you. Let's say, let's say here you are integrating the different units, okay, and uh, this is the top-down, right? This is the top-down integration testing approach, okay, starting from the top to the down, okay, this is the top, top, and this is the down, okay, going down. From top, you are going down while integrating the different units. Okay, so before integration testing starts, guys, okay, generally the developers uh, as part of white box testing category will perform the unit level testing where uh, the smallest unbreakable parts, okay, uh, will be tested independently. After that, what they will do is they can follow any of this integration testing approaches to integrate those units okay for so in case of the top down integration testing approach what they will do is they will first collect all the higher level units okay they will they will collect all the higher level units let's say these are the different higher level units on the top okay these higher level units will be integrated with their lower level units okay the next level next lower level units they will be integrated with okay these higher level units will be integrated with the lower level units and then and so on guys okay and so on okay so here higher level units are getting integrated with the lower level units and this lower level units will be now integrated with their lower level units okay the next level lower level units okay so it will go from top to down guys okay higher level units next lower level units next lower level units and so on okay this process continues until all the units are integrated properly okay so but integration starts from top to down that's why it's called as top down integration testing approach so there may be some problem that comes while you perform this integration testing okay while the developers perform this integration testing approach where they integrate the higher level units with the lower level units and so on as part of this top down integration testing they may come across some problem where while during the integration some of the unit may not be available okay some of the units may not be ready for integration so if developers have to wait for this particular units to get ready that will take a lot of time that will waste a lot of time okay if this particular unit is taking a lot of time to get ready the unit testing unit uh, sorry the top down integration approach will stop okay because the unit is not ready okay the the unit is not ready so in that case guys what the developers will do is okay so in place of this real unit okay in place of that real unit which is not ready they'll put something known as stub okay something known as stubs stub or stubs okay which is nothing but temporary program guys in case of this real units they will provide something known as stubs stub or stubs okay so stubs are nothing but the temporary programs okay they are not not the real programs they generally simulate the real units okay stubs are a temporary programs which simulate they just give input and output that's it okay but real logic is not written inside the stubs okay they are temporary programs so for this integration testing uh, to not stop developers will use this kind of stuffs okay in case of top down of integration testing approach they use something known as stuffs if some of the units are not ready the stuffs are nothing but the temporary programs okay so hope guys you got the idea what exactly is the uh, top down integration testing approach so that's all for this session the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye